Hi, Eric Snopko here. This time we will take a closer look at the Harry Potter cue composed by Nicholas Hooper. The piece Dumbledore's Farewell is featured both in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. The descending harmonies, dissonant violins in the high register and the expressiveness of the orchestra create a mood of mourning and sorrow, transmuting the nature of such sad music in the programming of a mock-up can be incredibly hard. But with the latest addition to the Big Bang Orchestra series, that's BBO Tana, Ursa, Vega, Volia and Zinia, such a task has never been easier. The emotions of real musicians can be heard in every sample. I started by loading the XF SAS preset. Although this cue doesn't use short articulations, it is great that now it's all set up for you with just one click, so that the mod wheel controls the long notes dynamic, while the short notes are controlled by the keystroke velocity. In every piece, certain elements try to attract the listener's attention. These attention points need to be programmed carefully. In the beginning, the focus is on the violas that are not following the celli and double bass lines which play in octave. I used the espressivo articulation for the starting note and then immediately switched to legato. After a few bars, the second violins join the orchestra. Every time a new instrument is introduced, it does attract attention. I use the new soft release samples for all these Big Bang Orchestra instruments, which go perfectly with the slow tempo of the track. The piece also features the choir from Big Bang Orchestra Ganymede, using the Cathedral Mixer preset. After the beginning, a solo cello part takes the lead. I use the solo cello one from the synchronized solo strings to take full advantage of the vibrato options and the high number of available samples. Whenever possible, I use the unlooped legato samples as they do fit the mournful mood of the piece best. 
Unloop Legato doesn't have default X-Fade Vibrato preset, so I created my own. When you want to crossfade from one sample to another, set the parallel mode in the edit tab to X fade for all articulations in the group. For more extended notes, I switched to the looped or sustain articulation to avoid any bother changes. Near the end, the first violins reached the climax of the piece. Up to this point, I was gradually increasing the vibrato via crossfade all the way to the highest note where the violins play the most intense vibrato. In the end, the strings slowly descend and fade to niente using the fader for expression. For all Big Bang Orchestra strings, I used the Lush Deca3 preset and I added some of the close and back microphone signals. On the master bus, I added the Exciter effect plugin included with Vienna Ensemble Pro using the Appassionata Shiny preset and on top I added some EQ. Thank you for watching and see you next time.